Would everybody please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. may be seated. Good morning, and welcome to the commencement exercises for the Cato Magnet High School class of 2022.
parents, grandparents, family, friends, loved ones. Thank you all for joining us today to celebrate our graduates. Thank you for allowing us the opportunity to serve them for the past four years. This is a wonderful group of young people, and they are deserving of all of this recognition. I would like to thank our choir and orchestra and band right now, Tap Vocal. That was beautiful, you all. Thank you for everything you've done to prepare for this ceremony and for telling, showing everybody exactly what Magnet High is all about. At the, at this time, I would like to welcome some of our special guests, Superintendent of Caddo Parish Schools, Dr. Gorey, <laughs> District 4 School Board Member, Mr. Don Little, <laughs> District 1 School Board Member, Mr. Steve Ryle, <laughs> School Board President, District 10, Mr. Tony Nations, School Board Member for District 9, Mr. Barry Rochelle. School Board Member for District 5, Dr. Bardzar. Thank you all for being here. I also would like to recognize Chief Academic Officer, Mr. Keith Burton. Chief Human Resource Officer, Mrs. Lisa Woolfolk. Chief of Operations, Mr. Patrick Gear. We also have with us today uh, District 6 Bessie representative, Mr. Ronnie Morris. I also would like to thank at this time any other central office personnel that are here celebrating with us. Uh, running a school is very difficult and it takes a lot, of the, a lot of people pulling on the rope in the right direction to make it run. So those of you that are here today, we're very appreciative of you and all the support that you give to Magnet High. I would like to send a very personal thank you to Executive Director of Performance for High Schools, Mr. Victor Monero. I can honestly say I would not be where I am today without this man, his leadership, um, the wisdom and, and that he shares with me, the patience that he has with me. Uh, I don't think that people really understand how talented this man is and how much he does behind the scenes to make sure that Magnet High remains Magnet High. So Mr. Monero, thank you for being you and for everything you do for me and for Magnet High. At this point in time, I would ask all the faculty and staff for Caddo Magnet High School to please stand. Thank you for being you. Thank you for your commitment to excellence, not just academic, but in every area that you serve our students. Thank you for taking care of this rookie principal in his first year. Thank you for opening me with open arms. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for everything that you do for our kids every day. You are beautiful, you're amazing, and I love getting to work with you. Thank you. We will now hear from Ruani Sajdeva, our National Honor Society President. She will be followed by a performance of our senior class song by our choir. We will then have remarks from Dr. Gordy, Mr. Little, Student Council President Thuyn Chow, and then our honor graduates. Good morning, welcome fellow graduates, family, friends, faculty. I decided when attempting to write this speech that I would fully commit to the magnet lifestyle by waiting to actually start writing until the day before it was due. <laughs> so to make myself feel productive during my procrastination, I figured I'd help my mom out and drop my sister off to school. So much like this morning, I woke up way earlier than I wanted to, and I trudged out the door at 8 a.m. I drove down line the same way I had done I don't know how many times. 
I pass by the same coffee shop, the same grocery store, the same park that I always do. Everything was the same way it had been for the past 17 years that I've lived here. But for some reason, this drive felt different. Instead of the navy blue building of the coffee shop, I saw the place where I spent countless hours stressing about a bio exam or an English paper. Instead of the trees and the playground in the park, I saw the place where my friends and I had picnics and celebrated birthdays and even painted terrible portraits of each other. But I realized that as much as I've complained about Shreveport, it's been my home. Most of us have lived here our entire lives. We've grown up together here. I mean, some of us have known each other for over a decade. Others may have just spent this year. But throughout our time at Magnet, we've laughed together, helped each other, had beef with one another, made up, and even cried together. Probably more in the past few weeks than some of us would like to admit, myself included. We've become a true family. And I don't know about you guys, but I really don't think I would have been able to say that if we had gone to any other school. And yes, there will always be things that we'd like to change, but I do think it is worth the while to take a second and appreciate Magnet and Shreveport for what they are to us. So I encourage you, before you move on to the next part of your life, to drive around town for a while. Remember the memories you made here, the lessons that you learned. Take a second and think about the people that got you here today. The ones sitting in the audience right now who woke up so, so early to be here with you, and the ones who wish they could be here but can't. Don't forget about these people. Don't forget about your home. Class of 2022, I've had an amazing time growing up with you guys, and I wish you all the very, very best. Thank you.
good morning. And in my capacity as superintendent of schools, I bring you greetings on behalf of the entire Kettle Parish School system. I would be remiss, though, if I didn't just pause for a second to just thank all of the parents, loved ones, and guardians, and all of the people assembled here today to celebrate our graduates. We truly do acknowledge and appreciate the significant role you played in this major accomplishment. Graduates, today is your day. This is your graduation day. Uh, and as I look out over the room, I'm so very proud of you. Over the last four years, and certainly the last two years, you've had a lot of opportunity to learn a lot about yourself. And if I know like I know, many of you are still wondering who you are. What I'd like to tell you first is that don't worry about that because most of us are still trying to wonder and figure out exactly who we are. What I'd like to do though, as you continue to explore life, I want to encourage you to dream. You're a part of our school system whose motto is that your big dreams start here. And we truly do believe that your biggest dreams start with a lot of the skills that you've learned over the last 13 years. What I would also tell you as you dream, make sure you dream beyond your circumstances. Many of you have been put in an interesting situation, especially over the last two years, where circumstances have often been out of your control. Even beyond that, many of you have dealt with other issues that would make you possibly limit what you think you can do. What I want to tell you today, though, is that you can dream beyond those circumstances. Push yourself beyond those circumstances to really reach, to really develop those dreams that mean most to you. I'd also, at the same time, like to encourage you to dream beyond your, those things that you can actually see. It's often easy to dream about things that we see a friend doing or maybe a parent accomplished or maybe even something that you see on TV. What I encourage you is to push your brain beyond those spaces of what you can see and truly make sure that you're maximizing those things that you're dreaming for yourself. You are very fortunate that you are living in a season where the job that you work on five years, 10 years, and certainly 20 years, in many cases doesn't even exist. In that respect, I encourage you to be that dreamer, to create your own opportunity, to be the creator of the new jobs, to be the creator of the way that you will provide for yourself and your family. And last, I encourage you to always dream of opportunities to lead this world better than you found it. Many of you over the last four years and many over 13 years have participated in different community services and different activities to give back to others. What I tell you is that there is nothing ever going to be more productive than those things that you do to make life better for others. Now, I truly believe that the last two years, uh, as you've gone through the COVID pandemic, has created a sense of perseverance in you that's like no other. I believe that that perseverance will give you more opportunity to achieve your wildest dreams. At the same time, I think it's important to note that since we've gone through the pandemic, a lot of your doing has been taken out of your control. If you're to actually achieve your dreams, you're going to have to dream it, but then you got to do it. I encourage you to do things that push you out of your comfort zone. I encourage you to do things that force you to work within diverse groups and to really appreciate the diversity of crowds. I encourage you again to always do things that are better for this world. I wish I could tell you that every day was going to be a sunny, happy day, but that's just not the case. But what I can tell you is that the skills that you've learned over the last 13 years and the love from everyone assembled in this room is enough to get you past those good days. And I can assure you that you're, those, get you past those bad days and assure you that your good days will always outnumber your bad. I am truly excited as I look over this group at the things that you will do to change our world. I truly know for each one of you, the best is yet to come. Congratulations, class of 2022. Thank you. Good morning. Harriet Tubman said, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars and to change the world. 
Let's break this quote into four parts. Firstly, dreams and being a dreamer. Start there. Imagine what you want to do and be. And if you don't know what you want to do with the rest of your life, I can assure you from personal experience, you're not a failure. Failure is in the not doing, not the doing. Start with a dream, but end with action. If you want to move the world, start moving. And as you climb, be sure to lift. Secondly, strength. Inner strength, we can define as that unstoppable belief in yourself that radiates in your visage, that perseverance to get up when you fall and to try again, even if it's a thousand times. The strength to turn no's into yeses. Thirdly, Ms. Tubman mentions patience. This could be patience with ourself, with our own shortcomings, failures, and those in others, and those of others, but it's also a willingness to wait for the good and to always play the long game by planning for tomorrow and when needed, delay gratification. And finally, she states passion. I would offer that God has given each of you uh, profound gifts to be passionate about, each of you. It may not always be obvious, but they're there. Your singular job is to mine deeply within your inner being, discover and respond passionately to these precious gifts, and it may take a lifetime, and that's okay. Unwrap these gifts with vigor and share them with the world, and success will follow. Good morning, my name Mustangs. I'm Gwen Chow. When I first walked on the campus for the first time my freshman year, never did I imagine I would be up here speaking to you all today. Like many of you, I was a nervous little kid swimming in a big sea of fish, nervous of meeting new people, nervous about taking all of these new classes, and wondering how I would make a name for myself on such a big campus full of high achieving students. As I progressed to my sophomore year, again, I was hit with all of these questions. I was concerned every day about what is to come, what the future will hold, that then suddenly on Friday, March 13th, 2020, the beginning of a false two weeks at home began. No one ever imagined that a pandemic would continue to shake the course of our junior year, our hardest year of our high school experience, full of teachers forgetting to unmute their mics and sharing their screens, and devoid of picnics, pep rallies, and school dances. And we continued to hope and pray as it squeezed out many of the events from the beginning of our senior year. Despite all of these disappointments, there are so many positive times that all of these negatives do not matter. Reflect on the memories we did get to make. Reflect on the memories that helped us grow. Reflect on the memories that made us who we are, made us laugh, made us cry, made us smile. We were able to have our senior prom, have a senior movie night, dress up as Renaissance and colonial figures, see plays and concerts, cheer at so many sports events, and win the red grill every year of our high school career. We were robbed. And we wouldn't have been able to do any of those things without Medlin and Moorhead dressing up to read the misanthrope over Zoom, without the Millard Method in taking our eyes out, without Miss Ayers Nerf guns, without Miss Farmer's obsession with Gatsby, without Mr. Stevens blowing something up every day, without Miss Carney and Miss Clements being best friend goals, without Miss McGuire's grilled cheeses and Miss Goebel's homemade pickles, and without many more teachers who have supported and impacted us in so many ways. As Dr. Stone would say, are you working hard or hardly working? And I know we had worked so hard and will continue to do so in the future. Though I may not know each of you personally, I know that we are all tied together by a special bond, having faced so many challenges and hardships alongside one another. We're a special group of kids who are continuing to make our mark every day. We are Magnet. We are the class of 2022. Thank you. Those who know me know I'm kind of a space nerd. But over the past few years of studying space, let it suffice to say that I've learned something from my research, not just scientifically, but also personally. I have found that there are actually a lot of parallels between our experience at Magnet 
and how our universe functions as a whole. Einstein said that our universe is essentially a fabric with each massive object like a black hole or a star creating a dent in this fabric. Like space-time, we have all been perpetually shaped by the gravitational force that each of our magnet experiences has exerted over our lives. Since the day I stepped foot onto Magnet's campus in August of 2018, I have constantly found myself in orbit around incredible people, counselors who push us to be the best versions of ourselves, staff who make sure that when we're at school, all we have to worry about is getting a good education, teachers who recognize our potential and inspire us to never stop short of our goals, and peers who are always there to lend a helping hand or make us laugh after a difficult day. My experience at Magnet has been impacted by so many inspiring individuals, each who have shaped the fabric of my life. But what truly makes Magnet special is that our actions impact so many more people than just those sitting in this room today. Like gravitational waves, each good deed sends out far-reaching ripples, slightly changing the lives of others for the better. Whether we put books in the hands of children, taught a student long division, or spread awareness about global warming, together we pushed for change. We did not have inertia. We did not wait for forces to topple us until we took action. Class of 2022, unlike the laws of physics, we are proactive, not reactive. All throughout the last four years, every day, like black holes, we absorbed each piece of information given to us. Daily, more knowledge, insight, and energy became light building up inside of us, waiting for that moment to shine. Now is that moment. Today, each of us is a star. I have no doubt that as we enter the real world, we will all shine bright in our own ways. Yes, we are individual stars, but connected you will find that we will always be inexplicably intertwined within the magnet constellation. Together, we will brighten the lives of others and use our gravity as a force of change in the world around us because class of 2022, for us, the sky is not the limit. It is only the beginning. Tolstoy wrote, that everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing himself. I've heard many friends at Magnet say, I am the best version of myself because I chose this school. I know that for me and for so many of you as well, this is entirely true. It is hard to be a self-reflective person in today's society. The thoughtless social media drivel the manipulative sound bites of mainstream news and the mindless consumer culture encourage all of us to be selfish, to embrace shallow ideologies, and to dismiss nuanced perspectives. Our teachers stand between us and this trap of complacency. They discuss hard and painful history, help us interpret complex current events, and teach us to be more vulnerable and open learners. To all our magnet teachers, thank you so very much for your love, your patience, your support, your dedication, and your tireless commitment. We owe you a debt we can never repay. Magnet has taught me, and I hope each of you, the importance of doubting myself and changing my mind with the openness to consider new ideas and the knowledge to judge them fairly, we can do our part to right the wrongs of our society. I wish you all the very best as we end one chapter of our lives and begin another. I hope that we will have the courage to change the world. 
but also, and perhaps more importantly, the courage to change ourselves. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Teachers, staff, fellow classmates, our lovely audience, and my sister, who's currently watching this live stream, Magnet Class of 2022. We actually did it. And I know that's cheesy to say, but the fact that we've made it this far says so much about us. This year has been an unimaginable roller coaster of emotions. For most of us, it was the constant stress of getting to the top colleges we wanted. For almost all of us, I'm sure it was the senior writers that definitely hit us like a bus. For others, maybe it was the struggles of old and new relationships. And I'm sure for everyone, it was the realization that it's the last for everything. The last time walking the school hallways, the last year going to school with the same people we've always known, the last summer with our best friends, the last matches, the last recitals, and so on. At this very moment, think about the one person in your life who's helped you keep going. And after we get our diplomas, give them a hug because they are your supporters to the very end. To me, that person would be my mom. She's over there. <laughs> hey, mama. <laughs> You are genuinely the driving force behind who I am today. I know we can have our disagreements, and I know I'm always late to everything, <laughs> but there's no one who's pushed me as hard as you have and for constantly yelling at me to practice. Thank you for all of the years, love, and hard work you have poured into me. You are the reason I'm able to stand and speak here on this stage today. And I know I don't tell you this enough, but I love you. And to my friends, my literal soulmates, I have absolutely no idea where I'd be without all of you. We underestimate the power of family, or those who have become family, since they are the very backbone to our being and the people who have fought for our education. I want everyone to recognize the importance of having genuine people in your lives because they are forever. We're putting ourselves in the scariest position of going into something without expectations and shifting into the unknown. I adore every one of you and keep doing all that you love. Cheers to endless mistakes and new beginnings. Congrats, Magnet Class of 2022 graduates. Thank you. It is now time to recognize our honor graduates. Seniors, as I call your organization, uh, please stand and I'll let you know when to have a seat. National Honor Society. These students are identified by a royal blue and gold double cord. Please be seated. National Tech Honor Society. These students are identified by white and purple double cord. Please be seated. Community service endorsement. These students are identified by emerald green double cord. Please be seated. State seal of biliteracy. These students are identified by navy and gold entwined double cord. Please be seated. International Thespian Honor Society. These students are identified by a blue and gold entwined cord. Please be seated. Tri-M Music Honor Society. These students are identified by a pink double cord. Spanish Honor Society. 
These students are identified by a red and gold entwined double cord. Please be seated. French Honor Society. These students are identified by red, white, and blue entwined double cord. Please be seated. German National Honor Society. These students are identified by red, black, and gold entwined gold cord. Please be seated. Mu Alpha Theta International Math Honor Society. These students are identified by a tur turquoise and gold double cord. Please be seated. Quill and Scroll Honor Society. These students are identified by a white single cord. Please be seated. National History Scholar Society. These students are identified by a burgundy single cord. Please be seated. National Speech and Debate Honor Society. These students are identified by burgundy and silver entwined double cord. Please be seated. ACT and Work Keys Gold. These students have achieved a 24 to a 30 on the ACT or a gold on the Work Keys Assessment. These students are identified by a black, gold and black entwined double cord. Please be seated. ACT and Work Keys Platinum. These students have achieved a 31 to a 36 on the ACT or a platinum on the Work Keys Assessment. They are identified by a silver and black entwined double cord. Please be seated. Legacy students. These students are identified by a Cattle Magnet High School crest pin. Please be seated. Cum laude graduates, please rise. Cum laude graduates are identified by a gold double cord. These students have maintained an overall GPA of 4.0 to 4.49. You may be seated. Magna cum laude graduates, please rise. Magnum cum laude graduates are identified by a red and gold double cord. These students have maintained an overall GPA of a 4.5 to a 4.74. You may be seated. Summa cum laude graduates, please rise. Summa cum laude graduates are identified by a red and gold stole. These students have maintained an overall GPA of 4.75 to 4.9. You may be seated. As we get ready to celebrate another group of graduates, it's time for us to say goodbye to some very valuable members of our Cato Magnet High School staff. Mrs. Deborah Moorhead. Mrs. Moorhead has served at Magnet High for 32 years in far too many roles for us to list here. She has been a mentor and an encourager to students and to faculty alike and the new principal. We cannot say enough thank yous to her for her service and for everything she has done to make sure that Magnet has stayed Magnet. Ms. Moorhead, we love you and we are going to miss you. Mrs. Deidre Nelson is retiring from her role as our food services manager. Mrs. Nelson has also served at Magnet High for 32 years. She has greeted our staff and students with her beautiful smile every morning and every day at lunch. 
We are going to miss her smiling face and her sweet spirit. Miss Nelson, we love you and you will definitely be missed. Mr. Ricky Gordon. Mr. Gordon has served as a security officer in Caddo Parish for the past 18 years after 24 years in the Air Force. Mr. Gordon has diligently walked our campus daily to make sure that our students have a safe environment to learn in every day. Mr. Gordon, we thank you, appreciate you, and you will be dearly missed. <laughs> Graduates, you've heard of a lot of advice and wisdom from people much more intelligent than me today. So I will keep my remarks short and to the point. There are a few thousand of us in here today, and each and every one of us has different talents and different passions. Take your gift, use it to serve others, find the job that you love doing, and do it to the best of your ability. Protect those who need you to protect them. Be an encouragement to those who need you to build them up. You are what our world should be. Take your light, turn it all the way up, and shine it into our world. I have loved sharing this year with you. I could not have asked for a better group of seniors to come in. You are Magnet High. You are always welcome back. And I cannot wait to see the things that you accomplish in your future. Congratulations. And now the reason we're all actually here. Time to award diplomas. Ehab Khalid Ali. Ali Iyad Alquam. Braden Allen Alsabrook. Bailey Marie Anderson. Abby Aaliyah Arant. Dominic Ryan Ariola. Camilla Kabichi Aruse. Jesus Giovanni Arvisu. Abby Elizabeth Beasley. John Hunter Berry. Audra Faith Best. Grace Taylor Bodily.
Mallory Elise Bogus. Joycelyn Olivia Bolden. Taylor Russell Broad. William David Bryce. Daniel James Bridges. Savannah Thorn Brister. Molly Catherine Brooks. Nehemiah Ray Brown. Merrick Mateo Burke. Jalen Arion Burkhalter. Elijah Ishan Burks. Sequoia Abeles Burton. <clears throat> Olivia Carcillo Butterman. <clears throat> Caleb Nicholas Cameron. <clears throat> Tatiana K. Para D. Yang Kang. Sydney Ryan Carter. <laughs> Melissa Grace Castor. Lacey Jameslyn Chafin. Brianna Michelle Chisley. Trinity Lynette Conant. Dale Lewis Copper. Luke Clement Crittell. Cadence Elizabeth Crumpton. William Samuel Davis. Reed Hanson Dees. Marco Andres De Leon. Jackson Lee Dillard. Amaya Lachey Duck. <laughs> Kia Lauren Effett. <laughs> Emma Grace Elkins. <laughs> Abigail Louise Engel. Holly Ann Eubanks. Ryan Ashley Foss. Madeline Ashley Farrell. Julian Drew Faust McKinney. Shelby Lynn Fed. Oh, 
William Burt Fletcher. Nora Maureen Flores. Jada Patrice Foreman. Hannah Elizabeth Francis. Keegan Fairfax Galeano. Emiliano Garduno. Barry Bogan Gerald. Mavi Genar Gigante. Warner Dale Grantham. Sarah Mackenzie Green. <laughs> Hannah Grace Greer. Priscilla Lynn Guo. Alice Marjorie Hale. Aaliyah Amaya Hall. Jordan Page Hall. Lauren Marguerite Hall. Kaylee Elise Hamilton. Hayden Cole Hanna. Francis Garrity Hardner. Anaya Abriana Harris. Jackson Wendell Hayes. Lauren Georgia Henderson. Angel De Jesus Hernandez. Aniston Christine Hidalgo. Jasmine Keat Ho. Grace Ann Flournoy Hodgson. Jackson Gilliland Holcomb. Adam Glenn Holloway. Vivian Lee Holman. Jace River Honeycutt. Ethan Andrew Hood. Natasha Samaya Hudak. Owen Tyler Huffer. <laughs> Hiba Hussein. <laughs> Chris Dat Hun. Zoha Aman Ibrahim. Francisco Javier Islas.
Josh Andrew Jackson. Kanaya Ani Jackson. Sai Kunchan Javakar. Eleanor Clarice Jawahar. Kobe Arnaz Johnson. Caden Page Johnson. Sarah Webster Johnson. Jasmine Shakira Jones. Saraya Lynn Rain Jones. Noah Perry Jose. Danielle Simone Jovic. Alexa Ann Kaler. Riley Elizabeth Keene. Anna Claire Kent. Braden Allen Kilgore. Allison Danielle Kimmy. Nyla Amir King Baker. Kendall Grace Knotts. Jacob William Kaczynski. Danielle Austin Crop. Derek Andrew Crop. Grace Lynn Kruger. Joshua Isaiah Lom. Sarah Elizabeth Land. Sarah's diploma is being presented by her mother, Jennifer Land, who works with our Department of Exceptional Children. Andrew Robert Lawrence. Andrew's diploma is being presented by his mother, Amanda Lawrence, who is a teacher at Caddo Magnet High. Gamaleth Alejandra Ledesma. Hojun Lee. Jordan Christy Lee. Tamira Jade Lewis. Grace Alexander Lightfoot. Eutine Lynn. Chance Adam Litton. Riley Bateman Lockard. Sabella Simone Lewis. Joshua Alexander Lumen. Sadie 
Ann Lyons. <laughs> Isabella May Monero. Bella's diploma is being presented by her uncle, Ronnie Morris, who is the District 6 Bessie representative. Peyton Eli McIntyre. Terrilyn Celeste McLaughlin. Hannah Danielle McGuire. Hannah's diploma is being presented by her mother, Barbara McGuire, who is a teacher at Caddo Magnet High. Adara Delana Michelle. Mary Mackenzie Miles. Avery Elise Miller. Amani Kiwan Milan. Harrison Payne Mills. Kaylee Grace Mizell. Micah Anthony Mock. Aaron Caitlin Monahan. Autumn Mariana Moore. Catherine Grace Moyers. Catherine's diploma is being presented by her grandmother, Sue Moyers, who is a teacher at Caddo Magnet High. Milena Narit Murov. Mariana Camille Murphy. Madeline Breck Myers. Justine Adriana Negron. John Henry Nelson. Brooke T. Win No. Non T. No. Emily Win. Yi Jin Ni Stephen O'Connor Nicholson Matthew James Nix Sarah Maylin Oberly. Sarah's diploma is being presented by her uncle, Ronnie Morris, who is the District 6 Bessie representative. Ethan Michael O'Boyle. Nehemiah Livingston Palmer. Mikkel Elizabeth Peck. Patience Shailen Peak. Anuja 
Pattori. Tanuja Pattori. Edmund Lee Posniak. Addie May Raymer. Joy Chantel Randall. Raiden William Reed. Gwen Denise Corpus Riamalos. Allie Janae Robbins. Baylor Andrew Robbins. Patrick Chance Rodsawan. Margaret Ann Romer. Jade Davina Sabbath. Alan Farith Sanchez. Devesh Sarda. Julia Lynn Sartori. Charimane Ramos Schlosser. Olivia Grace Sexton. Madeline Mackenzie Shows. Ayush Singh. Sophia Stephanie Singh. Chadston Charles Smith. Ian Grayson Smith. Jalen Brianna Smith. Kayla Renee Smith. Lillian Marley Sobelvaro. Autumn Willow Summers. Haley Nicole Spolerich. Brianna Strotter. Sarah Elizabeth Sutherland. Mary Tat. Jaslyn Alita Temple. Lorian Jeanette. Thomas Neo Connor Thurman Lila Iris Sopon TK T 
Taylor Nicole Trammell. Braden William Trawick. Trenton Porter Turner. Ermina Hildo, Hamza Ali, Vasquez Lopez. Justina Ann Tuvo. William Gray Waddell. Taylor Shavaye Walden. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Du Manil Wallace. Dayton Lloyd Waltman. Alicia. Grace Walton. Kennedy Dwayne Washington. Adam Walker Webb. Benjamin Thomas Whaley. Charlotte Hennessy White. Morgan Andrina White. Promise Karstine Whitlock. Ryan Spencer Wilkinson. <laughs> Hannah Grace Williams. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Williams. <laughs> Mabry Elena Wojciechowski. Jonathan Agmase Woldy. Travisia Lacole Wyatt. Evelyn Lily Zhang. Hudson Wally Zimmerman. Twi Lynn Chow. Neely May Mugpio Lim. Abigail May Nicholson. Ashini Ashish. Modi Thwin Lawn Chow Ruhani Kor Suchdeva William Zachary Phelan
Members of the class of Catamagna High School 2022, please stand. As the principal of Caddo Parish Magnet High School, I declare that these students have completed all requirements for graduation as established by the State Board of Education and Caddo Parish School Board. You may and now turn your It is my pleasure to introduce to you the graduates of Caddo Parish Magnet High School class of 2022. Congratulations to you students. Congratu congratulations to family members that are here that helped get them here. Please be seated. At this time, we will hear from senior class president Tui Chow as she presents our closure and remarks. Followed by that, we will have the singing of our alma mater. Hello, class of 2022. We did it. Our hard work paid off, and we're ready to fly away from the nest of what is high school. When I think about our high school experience and the journey we embarked to reach this destination, I think of the word unprecedented. In the past couple of years, this word became part of our daily vocabulary as it directly, co directly correlates with COVID-19 in each of the years following and preceding it. I think we can agree we're lucky we experienced a normal freshman year. With our faces full of braces, our questionable haircuts and clothes, and our excitement and nerves at its peak, we awkwardly adjusted to a new environment filled with making new friends meeting new teachers, and taking harder classes. Freshman year marked the beginning of four long years of experimentation and self-discovery. The last three years of high school, we were forced to face the adversities of online learning and social distancing. Zoom and Canvas became our new best friends. We completed projects, essays, and homework assignments, probably turned in the same night they were due. Living in such unprecedented times, we demonstrated our perseverance and courage. We pushed boundaries despite their obstacles. Sitting before me today, I seek a group of individuals with unlimited potential. I see future doctors, educators, politicians, and so much more. Regardless of the path, Magnet has given us the tools and resources we need to be successful. We're graduating from one of the most respected and rigorous schools in the state of Louisiana. Let's continue to work hard, change the world, seize new opportunities, and learn from our inevitable mistakes. Looking forward, let's remember the lifelong friendships and bonds we formed with our fellow classmates and teachers. We united in a time when people became increasingly divided. We learned to cherish the small yet important aspects of life. Thank you to all the parents, family members, teachers, and administrators who pour their time, energy, and love into guiding us here. Let's thank our classmates for supporting us. And finally, give thanks to us, the class of 2022, for persevering and having faith to reach this point. I would like to end this speech with a joke as a final goodbye. When I was writing this farewell speech, I was having trouble. A friend told me, if you give me $20, I'll write the speech for you. I said, that was a good bye. <laughs> that joke was nuts. Anyways, class of 2022, cash you guys later. Would everyone please now stand for the singing of our alma mater. <laughs>